so in this video uh, we are going to see uh, how the create statements of the three tables that is salesman customer and orders uh, so first we will take a create table of salesman so create table salesman so we have four attributes that is salesman id which is a primary key and salesman id is we have taken it as int so salesman id int primary key then second one is name name var care of 10 so i have assumed uh, my name is of uh, 10 characters so uh, you, the users can change from 10 to 15 or 12 so whatever they want so i am adding one constraint that is not null means whenever i insert the values i should insert the salesman name i should not leave it as blank so that is the constraint i am adding in the create of this salesman table so create table in that name is not null so i am adding this constraint for all the attributes but for primary key attribute i am add i am not adding any constraint because not null is default means if it is a primary key you should add the salesman id the number you cannot leave it that is a mandatory this, this becomes a default so i am not adding any not null constraint for that then city so city is a var care uh, the not null again constraint then commission so commission i am taking it as var care because i am adding like 15 percent 20 percent so since the percentage character is added i have assumed it as var care so user can go with the commission as int or float as a 15 so if they remove percent so either they can go with int so it is uh, uh, it is their uh, interest okay so i am adding not null i have assumed it as 15 percent that's why i am adding it as var care so second one is create table customer because we have seen the schema diagram the order in which they have been created so first we need to create the salesman the parent table then these two are the child tables so in that again uh, second i am creating a customer so since customer is dependent on salesman that is the salesman id uh, that is what we have seen so customer id again is a primary key so customer id int as primary key then customer name so uh, not null constraint then city not null then grade so what is the grade of the customer so i am assumed it as grade as uh, integer and it is not null then uh, there is a foreign key here uh, i am just making a different way of adding a foreign key that is salesman id int not null so i have not added any foreign key constraint but at the end of it so this is the second way compared to our first lab program how to add a foreign key constraint so i will write here foreign key so which one is the foreign key is salesman id so salesman id is a foreign key it is referring to which table that is what i am writing here references references which table salesman means this salesman as it is the name then in that which attribute salesman id okay so it is referring to salesman tables salesman id so that is a constraint i have added foreign key and i am adding another one a clause that is on delete cascade so this is the important thing compared to our first lab program that is on delete cascade so on delete cascade is used to automatically remove the matching records from the child table when we delete the rows from parent table so that is what uh, uh, means if the salesman is deleted then the customer is also deleted 
automatically from customer table so we can see this when we run uh, the sql query on this so we'll see how it behaves compared to our first lab program okay so the third one is order id which is int as a primary key then it has a attribute as purchase amount which i have taken it as a float and i have added a constant not null then order date so date is of type date then it is also not null then customer id uh, it is not null and salesman salesman id is not null so since these are foreign keys so i will add a constraint that is the first one is a foreign key so first one is customer id it refers to customer table customer id okay and I, again i will add a class called as on delete cascade so there are two class that is on delete and on update so i am adding on delete here so on delete is it will delete automatically okay so say then foreign key again salesman id in the orders uh, table then it references salesman of salesman id on delete cascade so the moment you delete a customer and a salesman so it is deleted from your orders table so that's why the on delete cascade will help so quickly we will just uh, create these uh, tables so i'll just take this and use in my the database that is called as order so first one is i have created a salesman so the table is created then second i will create a customer table so customer table is created then third is orders table so all the three tables are created here so i'll just show you sorry show tables so these three are the uh, tables which are created in this order so order is very important I means salesman first you have to create a salesman table then customer then orders so how will you get from the schema diagram as you can see so this is the schema diagram which we have drawn already so the this is the order in which we need to create the tables that is first one is salesman then customer then orders okay thank you